I had wigs once. That's my very bad <laughs> impersonation of um, Angelina Jolie as Maleficent. Please forgive me. I am going insane from lack of sleep. For this tutorial, I wanted to make something that is entirely DIYable, entirely affordable. So um, everything you see here, you can purchase at either a 99 cent store or you'll already have at home. Let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so for materials, you're just going to need a piece of textured black leather, black vinyl tape, a balloon, aluminum foil, newspaper, a black scarf, flour, salt, water, and a hot glue gun plus E6000 glue. So we're going to start off with the horns, um, and this is what it looks like. I made a prototype, and Melissa Vincent's horns are actually pretty curved, like a winding staircase. So we're going to make the base with a aluminum foil. So I'm just going to take out a piece of aluminum foil that is 7 by 9 inches, and I'm going to fold it in half, and then cut it using my scissors. And then uh, just going to fold it over and make a little circle at the bottom. Uh, and it's going to be pretty hollow at the base of the horns. So just make sure that you can um, put your finger in there. And then the, the middle part of the horn, you can just scrunch up the tin foil um, until you get to the top. And then you're just going to wrap it around and make a sharp point at the top. So the top is pointy. The middle part of the horns, you can just scrunch the tin foil, but the base of the horns have to be hollow. And this actually is going to help when we do the paper mache. So clearly the horns look nothing like the prototype, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to make them thicker with the paper mache. But for now, I'm going to curve a section of the horn upward. And then from that middle point, you're going to curve it back down making uh, an S, and then curve the tip just a little bit. So as you can see, the horn is actually laying completely flat on the ground. All points of it is touching the tabletop. The horn that I'm making right now is on the right side of the headpiece, so you want to push the middle curve that you've made to the right. And then I'm just going to turn the pointy part uh, outward. And now when you lay it on the table, all parts of it do not touch the table. It's kind of like a seesaw. So as you can see, my horns are actually like eyebrows. They're not twins, but they're sisters. And that's perfectly fine as long as you get the general shape and length. So right now, the curve that's in the middle, they actually need to match up. So I'm just fixing that. And I'm just going to take pieces of tin foil from the other half that we cut, and I'm going to wrap it very loosely around the horn that we made. Onto the paper mache, you're just going to take half a cup of water and half a cup of flour and then add some salt to make the paper mache mixture and you're adding salt so that it won't mold. Then just mix everything together and it should be pretty liquidy instead of solid. Then just take uh, pieces of scrap paper or newspaper and then Rip it up into strips. They can be small, big, wide, or short. Uh, and then just dip the strips of paper into the mixture and uh, take off the extra excess mixture and then apply it to the tinfoil horn. Um, and you want to apply it very loosely because if you try to put the paper right onto the tinfoil, then it's going to, the paper mache will take on the shape of the tin foil. So, um, as you can see there, it's like pretty loosely wrapped around the tin foil. Um, and this is also going to make the horn thicker and more hollow. You also don't want to do too many layers of paper mache. And then just cover the horn halfway up and then let it dry overnight before covering the rest of the horn. Then, to make the base for the horns to sit on, I blew up a balloon about the size of my head and added some paper mache to it as well. Um, I started from the top of the balloon and then decided where the back of my head would be and where the front of my head would be. On the back side of my head, I just went down halfway, but on the front, I only curved over a little bit. So yeah, as you can see, mine uh, didn't go too far down my forehead or too far back down my head. And that's exactly what you want. My paper mache actually curved over a little bit, which is perfect for the ears as well. 
you can totally skip this step by buying a bald cap and then just cutting it to fit your head, but I just wanted to DIY everything. So after, after it dries completely, um, I'm going to pop the balloon. Um, once it's popped, you want to try it on to make sure that it fits your head and miraculously mine actually fit really well. Then I just set that aside and finished paper mache the rest of my horn. Make sure to make two horns and also make sure to curve them in the opposite directions. Uh, and the next step would be to cover them up in the black vinyl tape. There's really nothing um, that I can tell you about this except that if it looks a bit bumpy and there's like weird texture, uh, you can try to cover that up as best as you can with the vinyl tape. But Maleficent's horn actually do have this rigid texture to it if you look at them carefully. And yeah, so just make sure to cover up both of the horns entirely in black tape. So after doing both of the horns, I just took my horn base and put it on top of my head and then took my textured leather and uh, outlined where it would go on my head. So this is what Maleficent's headpiece looks like in the movie. So you definitely want to mark where the middle of your forehead is on both the cap and the textured leather. You also want to mark how far down the textured leather will go. So the purple mark on my textured leather that you can see is where the base and the textured leather meet. So that's also where I'm going to glue it. And the two blue lines on the sides of the base is also where I'm going to glue the textured leather onto. So you also want to do those same markings on the textured leather. And once you've done that, you're going to follow the lines that you made on the textured leather and cut it out. Next, just make sure that all of the markings and lines match up. And then to be extra sure of the markings, I'm just going to um, draw a line to where the middle will be to match up the markings. And then I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and then glue on the textured leather to the base or the bald cap, or you want to call it. And then I'm just going to glue on the sides. You want to place the glue on the blue markings that I was talking about before and just match up the textured leather. And finally, I just put a dot of hot glue onto the tip of the textured leather and hold it down. And it's completely fine if parts of the textured leather are raised because that's exactly where the horns will go. The final step is to put the base onto your head and then take your two horns and just sort of see where you would place them correctly. You want to make sure that the tips of the horns are just a few inches apart. Then place some hot glue and pull down the horns and then just to secure them even more onto the base I used some E6000 glue. Okay so I look really weird right now because I don't have my hijab on. Once you've stuck this middle put down with the eyelash glue um, you should see that there are little triangles forming right here. Right, that's what you want. That's what her headpiece looks like. Use a lightweight plain black scarf. If you want to be fancy, you can try to use a soft leather scarf. But my scarf was just a long rectangle. Are you going to bring it back? As you can see, I folded it in half twice. It's just resting on my neck. Now you just want to take um, one side of it. Side and loop it around this horn. Right here. Just hang it back there very loosely as you can see this is the bald cap that's the horns that we attached and this is like the little bandana thing and then I'm just going to take the other long side and loop it over the other horn you just want to take these pins that you can find at um, Michaels or any other craft store they're sewing pins pretty you should get the smaller version I just have like this long one and you just want to see where this leather pieces and where your bandana is and just go underneath pin it to the bandana come out and then to the scarf and then pin it back down and you're going to do the same thing to the other side and this is just going to make sure that your bandana stays in place once you've pinned that part down the rest of the turban is just covering up the back of your head 
with the fabric. So just take the excess fabric and begin layering and looping it around your head, covering up your hair and the white part of the headpiece. Uh, and then just use the pins to pin everything down to make sure that they stay in place. And definitely use reference photos. As you can see, I just fixed it up a little bit. And basically after you have, um, you know, covered up all the white spaces and you've um, managed to get the general shape of a turban, uh, after that you want to definitely um, start pinning down certain parts and shaping the turban a little bit more. Okay, so the things that I would do differently if I were to redo this DIY is that I would push these horns a little bit back. I feel like this is a pretty good representation of what her horns look like in the movie. However, her horns are a little bit um, curved backwards. So if I were to redo this, I would definitely do that. I would definitely take the time to spray paint the bald cap black. Um, or paint it black, but I just did not have time. It's total last minute and I'm in the middle of midterm week. Um, and I would definitely uh, buy black uh, pins. They blend in a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, but a lot of my pins are kind of showing like right here. I'm definitely going to go back and redo that. So this isn't the most perfect tutorial, but this is definitely the one that you can do on a budget. <laughs> With that being said, for the makeup, I did not do the contouring like or the insane prosthetics. I just didn't have the time. And I also just put a bold red lip, did a mini cat eye, and put in some thick eyelashes. Please <laughs> forgive any mistakes that I made. Um, I did try to do my best within like two days. Uh, but yeah, I hope that I will be able to do more Halloween videos. If not, uh, do check out my old Halloween videos. They're pretty rad. I actually did a DIY wings, so if you want to do the wings that Maleficent had, I had wings once. Um, but if you want to do those, you could definitely check out that DIY. All you would have to do is just um, change the shape of the wings. I did like, like, like that. Hers is like this. So you can definitely alter the shape of my DIY wings and complete this whole outfit. Uh, but yeah, if you do recreate this look, please, please tag me on Instagram. Find me on Tumblr. I'm on all forms of social media. I would definitely like to see it if you tried this out. Or if you tried out any of my other DIYs, please let me know. I love stalking you guys. I'm starting to sound crazy because I'm really tired, <laughs> so I'm gonna say goodbye. Please comment down below any ideas you have for any ideas you have for next Halloween's videos. Tell me what you're doing for Halloween. Please give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!